The mower is at checkout 11. I repeat at checkout 11. Welcome back to another Hints and Theories video, this time to episode number 9. I know that the internationals this week probably watched the episode a little bit later than usually, so if you haven't watched it yet then please come back later because otherwise it will be spoiled. But if you've watched it, no matter if you're an international or from the Netherlands, then I welcome you to a new Hints and Theories video. Now before we get to all the hints and theories in the tasks, I want to talk about another hint that we had some time ago. So it was about the names of the titles and if we can, well, conclude anything from that. And we had a theory that we take the first letter from the first episode's title, then the second from the second, the third from the third and so on. And you probably remember that we were left with W, I, D, N, double E and an S. So you take the letters, put them in another order and then you look if something that makes sense comes out in the end. And I did it again this time because I thought if there is some meaning behind it then we have to have it now. And the only thing that makes sense is to end up with the word Zani. So W, I, D, M for V is the mole, and then Zani. And the word Zani isn't Dutch, but it's Albanian. And if we translate that, then it means hey. And the last name of everyone, Hoy, also means hey. So this could actually be a hint hidden in the title's names leading to everyone. Now off to task number one. And the first thing is that the mole would really have liked in that task to be the first one entering the house because this is the position in which you still can change for example where the money is hidden or you could take away some money so that in the end for example there aren't 500 euro left or 250 and yeah that is simply why the mole would have liked to be in that position also if you are in that position, then as a candidate you wouldn't have seen the map before and this gives you a very nice excuse to tell the others well I was totally dependent on you two and of course this is why I would have set off some more alarms because I couldn't know where to go while the other ones already had a look at the map before they entered the house. So if Riesia is the mold then this is really a nice position to be in. Also, she was the only one who set off free alarms, which means that she's out of the game, that the money that she well, collected didn't count, and this is actually really a hint to her. When everyone is in the house, we have that one situation where he asks if he can go into the room left to him, if there would be an alarm or not, and then Kim Leon tells him that there is no alarm, and then there is an alarm. So yes, a hint to Kim Leon. If you have a look at the scene, then it really seems like she doesn't well get that coordinating between the map and where to go right. So could be on purpose, but could also be on accident. Not sure. And I have to be honest, I didn't really think that Aaron was suspicious in the task. The only weird thing is that he has the phone in his hand like that, because that was not necessary. They had like that thing in their ears with which they could listen but also talk, so there was a microphone in it. And it was not necessary to hold the phone like that, but probably he thought he could communicate better that way. So yeah, it's a bit weird, but I don't think that this is anything we, well, have to interpret into deeper meaning of so. And to be honest, I also thought that Kim Leon wasn't very suspicious in the task. I actually thought she did it really good, because just as everyone, she came back with money. And yes, she did those weird moves somehow, which were quite funny, but especially in that one room where most likely was an alarm, when she moved so slowly that it didn't set off, well, that is definitely good work that she did there. Now off to task number two, which was quite interesting and funny, I think, as well. Kim Lian took some wrong groceries there. So one time she took kitchen paper instead of toilet paper. Yes, that could be a mole action, but to be honest, I also think it could happen that you 
do this accidentally because while well, it's dark and you're stressed and you're trying to hide and well kitchen paper and toilet paper does look quite alike especially when you are in a country with another language and you can't just read what's written on there so I could understand if she took it by accident but nevertheless she wasted some time at the cash desk and she also took that yellow t-shirt twice which doesn't make any sense and if that was a mole action and it didn't work out because the others told her that they only needed one of the t-shirts and she tried to take it back at least but still it's a bit weird why she took that twice it's, it doesn't really make sense we also have to talk about Fresia and the task again because she seems very hectic and loud and as we know sometimes she is a bit over the top so she seems like a very enthusiastic candidate but in the end doesn't end up with a lot of money or yeah just gets really played out quite quickly just as in task number one or in the laser game task and well this time she is again attracting a lot of attention to her which you wouldn't want to have in that task you don't want the attention of those laser game guys and this is also why everyone tells Kim Leon to tell Fresia to be a bit more quiet and probably slowly to not attract so much attention and she doesn't listen to him so if you ask me then it can happen that you are like that that she is like that I really believe that she is like that a bit more like over the top go outgoing than others but then they tell her to slow down a bit and she still doesn't do it which makes me think that she does it on purpose and yes that is a moral action if you ask me another interesting and i also thought very funny part in the task were their announcements and there was one announcement that was quite interesting because it said be aware there's a pickpocket named the mole now, if we think about who could be a pickpocket out of those three, then we end up with Kim Lian, who stole the 250 euro and still has them in her pocket. Another thing about the announcements is that Fresia seems to be the only one listening to them. At least, she's the only one to react to them. And I also had a feeling that she really tries to get the other two's attention on those announcements. If the other two paid attention to that and we couldn't quite see it so good so they either didn't let us see that in the show or they simply didn't pay that much attention to it and now some people even believe that it is Fresia's voice which we can hear so that she is the one telling us those announcements and I have to agree that if you listen closely then you can imagine that so I really recommend you to rewatch some of those scenes and focus on those announcements and tell me in the comments if you think it could be Frasia's voice or not. If it is her voice, then it would make sense that she tries to get the artist's attention to them. Because if she is the mole, then she needs to get the artist's attention to her. The idea of that game is that in the end the mole gets caught. But Evron and Kimian are both so deep down in the tunnel, suspecting each other, that they are <laughs> don't seem to think it could be Frasia. And this is also why she would need to do some more obvious mulling actions. And that would actually fit really good to her trying to get attention on those announcements. If she is the mole. And one more thing about Frasia and the task is that at the end of the task she holds that mask right in front of her face which could of course be a hint to the mask ball that is coming up in the next episode and to the masks that are to be seen on the money. Now off to task number three and in the beginning of that Aaron gets an envelope and the others ask him what is written on that envelope and he tells them it is written 1122 on it and that is quite interesting because why would they write the 11 on it again? So the 22 of course makes sense, the 22nd season, 22nd mole, if we don't count the anniversary mole, but the 11. It could be another hint to the 11 people that were in the beginning, and if we count the 11 and the 22 together, then we end up with 33. And if we remember everyone's favorite shirt, let's call it like that, the green one has a big 33 printed on it, as well as some birds. 
probably most important mall action that task was the picture that fell to the ground and it shows the bird watcher which was very most likely the one who had the money so the right envelope and unfortunately we can't see if it is Everon or Frisia to let that photo fall down but it seems like it has to be one of those two. Now they end up with the wrong person, they get some Minchalt, some negative money and now there are some discussions going on about Kim Lian's reaction to that because some people think that it is really bad acting and I have to be honest I'm not so sure about that. Frisia and Everon seem very surprised but Kim Lian seems a bit more shocked, if you ask me. And I think that's an understandable reaction. So they didn't have any Minchel before, at least I can't remember it. I knew that it had to come up because I knew that there was a photo in which we could also see that money and I basically waited for it to come up at some point. So I knew it had to be in this episode, finally. But while well, the candidates couldn't know that there would be Minchel, and then of course you can also be shocked, why not? If it is acting, then I have to agree, she could have done better. <laughs> now, last but not least, three quick hints, one to each candidate. There's Kim Lian putting down a tarot card, which shows masks, which really, well, remind us of the masks at the Mask Ball, as well as some golden, let's call it, money on it. So yeah, two themes coming back again on the tarot card. Then there's everyone who used again the sentence this is golden which means like this is super great or so and we already used that sentence in the last episode and now again so yeah again the golden theme coming back and last but not least we get to see a shot of Frisia's more bookies and the weird thing already is that there are two more book here, so why would you need two so if any one of you wants to try to zoom in on that and check out whether or not both handwritings are the same that would be quite interesting is that really her handwriting in both books or is probably one of those books from another candidate who had already left and there's another book laying there so we get to see the shot of three books and the third book seems to be about football theory and uh, we can see a picture of a football field with the 11 players on it which could be like reminding us to the 11 players we had in the game at the beginning and as you know in football it is normal that the goalkeeper wears a different color shirt than the other players and this could well be a hint to 10 candidates and one outstanding one the mall who wears a different color shirt and stands out because of that and well a long football hint leading to Frasia. So again a lot about Frasia this time. If she really is the mall then this would be very interesting because it seems that no one of the candidates caught her and that would be a first time ever. Now let me know who you think the mall is. At the moment the majority of the Netherlands suspects Frasia to be the mall. If you want to think about it one more time, then you definitely shouldn't miss the videos I'll be uploading in the next days because there will be like little summary videos to all the hints leading to Frisia, Everon and Kim Lian. So quick short videos summarizing some hints and theories. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of those videos and also please let me know in the comments if I've missed out on any hints and theories or what you think about the ones I mentioned and you can also follow me on Instagram or join our international Facebook group. Next week around this time we will already know who the mall is. Until then I wish you so much fun figuring it out. Bye!